Okay, so welcome back. Um, spa's a week away now, so uh, getting really excited. So I thought, well, I'll come into the workshop tonight and there's just a few little jobs I wanted to do. Um, I noticed uh, the bottom of the gearbox there was a bit of a weeping of oil, so I've taken the rear, the rear, um, the rear cover off and I'll put some more silicon around there. I haven't put it back on yet because I'm going to um, talk the head down and check the valve clearances. And um, if you, it's just a convenient place to turn the engine, really. So, uh, so um, let's go on with that. So we need to take the uh, rocker shaft off just to gain access to these bolts down here. We need to take the manifold off as well because there's two bolts underneath the manifold. Okay, so we start in the center. Always start in the center and move out. Um, They moved a little bit. The others hadn't moved, these ones. That one moved a little bit, but not much. Okay, so that's all good. Um, that one moved a little bit, but the others were just uh, spot on. So um, as you can see, I've got a, there's a variety of different um, um, bolts. These ones are slightly different because of the, the way the head's been modified with the downdraft. Um, we need something a bit flush, so they're so sort of like uh, inset and they're slightly bigger than all the others. So um yeah so what we'll do is we'll get all the bits put back on now and um and then we'll check the valve clearances So on one of my last videos, someone asked me whether I, why I don't use a torque wrench. And um, fact of the matter is I do use a torque wrench, but you don't always see it on the video. So um, these bolts here need to be 30 to 40 foot pound. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tighten them down to 
where I think they should be. We'll put a torque wrench on and, um, and see far, how far I, I am. I mean, I would have checked them anyway. So I've set, I've set it at, um, I've set it at 30. So let's just have a little look. So they're all at least 30. Thirty-five, which is the lower limit. Ha ha. So there you go. That one wasn't quite. So by doing it by hand, I would I tighten them up above thirty. Each one I had to just turn that slightly more. Um, so um, probably did it about about 32 foot pounds so um, it's not bad but it is something I would have I would have checked these anyway so um, I'm gonna do them up to 40 because it said it's 35 to 40 So there we go that wasn't too bad i was um i was three three pounds foot pounds out so um um how do i know that i don't know it's just um something over the years you just uh through experience you just get to know how tight things should be so um on this occasion i didn't quite tighten them up by by three three pounds so um good job i checked Okay, so I said I was going to use the, um, the back of the gearbox just to turn. So this, this shaft here goes straight through to the engine. So all I can do is just turn the back here to move the valves up and down. So while I've done this, it's just a convenient way of turning the engine, really. So um, we'll get the uh, feeler gauges and check the valves. Okay, so rule of nine, that one, that one, that one. So setting the valve clearances is quite critical to, to obtain maximum power. So the, the valves want to open as, as wide as they can. So um, the valve clearance doesn't want to be too wide. Um, but on the flip side, if you have a valve clearance that's too small, there is a danger that as the engine warms up, the, the gap will reduce um, to nothing. And then the valves won't close properly. So um, uh, again, losing you power. So um, yeah, I always like to check it quite regularly just to make sure that everything's correct. I'm going to open that one up a little bit.
Okay, so that's it. Um, effectively, the car's ready now. So um, I've just got to finish putting the bodywork on and uh, load it up. So uh, next time you see me, I'll be in Spa. So um, really looking forward to that. So um, don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, write some comments, and we'll see you next time. And remember, how hard can it be?